Nearly 15 years, the South African government has been tabling higher deficits. As a result, government debt is projected to be more than 4.7 trillion in our current financial year, compared to 627 billion in the year 2008-2009. This debt is incurring debt service cost that will average 354 billion per year over the medium term expenditure framework. Medium changes to spending plans are driven mainly by government's decision to extend the special COVID-19 social relief distress grant by one year until 31 March 2024. The fiscal framework also includes funding for cadre to courts of the 2022-2023 public, public service scheme crisis, as well, as well as for safety and security, infrastructure investment, and service delivery. The SRD grant was introduced in May 2022 as a temporary measure to respond to the needs of the most vulnerable who were affected by lockdown measure. It has been extended several times since then. Discussion on the future of the grant are ongoing and involve very difficult trade-offs and financing decisions. Despite the provision made in this budget, I want to reiterate that any permanent extension or replacement will require permanent increases in revenues, reduction in spending elsewhere, or a combination of both. Some of the state-owned companies represent critical components of our economic activity, especially in transport, engineering, and energy. These companies should be self-sufficient and must contribute to economic growth. Unfortunately, we face a situation where financial weaknesses caused in previous years by bad leadership and corruption still need to be resolved. We have little choice but to act to keep these key in services running. We are proposing to use higher than anticipated revenues in the current year to reduce risk from specific SOEs. We are thus tabling a special appropriation bill to provide additional funding to Denel, Transnet, and Sandra. These allocations will allow these entities to adjust their business mod models and restore their long-term financial viability. We are allocating additional resources to our security forces to take the fight to those that threaten peace, uh, our peace as a nation. We will support the police to recruit an additional 15,000 constables over the next three years. This is in addition to the current 10,000 they are recruiting this year.